I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. with your Volvas box, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Device, comrades. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. What? No thanks. I'm all set.
Comrades, residents, assemble near the ground plate memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of the city. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. Report to the lobby of that high we rise, Major. Just, Just one waiting. small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. 
just so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together, uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind, mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed, accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So. What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from in one of them. every I get city. It. 
The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. Riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot. Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence. But those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Friendship of People's Park, 
nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Signal Monument, designed by sculptors Lena Buchina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary, revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The Trophus initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the regulatory gate of the Rabbi Walk Outdoor Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? It's killing me. Ugh. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. 
But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. The mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session on that. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major? Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! looking at almost choked to death there give me a hand no oh, i didn't see that coming mm. oh you should be more careful this place is a damn madhouse yeah i noticed uh -huh. thanks for the help no sweat sonny what are you doing here anyway oh just passing through who are you me xena granny xena that's all you need to know fine i get it so what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your arse! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Uh, no good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit!
What a goddamn clusterfuck. some advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit, on a shingle, why didn't you tell me? Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency... ...power, and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You Wh got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Avoid the beam! Shaft Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. <laughs> it worked! A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of the jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon. But choose you're fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Wait, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs>
Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yeah. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by... If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue.
You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. It's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Station master. What a joke. The world. Uh, what was that? The schematic. Major Nichayev. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have they frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, they won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. As fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master. Find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. Talking there he is. We'll make it. Wait, Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time... I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please we take your seat to depart into your ticket. Ten. Sorry. Nine. No ticket. Eight. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride.
was going to be rough. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Robs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Cumber? You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. It used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Wall. That's some serious security. Honey, you're back! What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Like, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, just give me laser protection! Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> that, crap. that hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm going to rip his fucking head off. I mean, now I'm going to rip something off. Damn it! Are 
Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Damn it. Right alert. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to trap. We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructurization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm Petrov's doing. Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that ass. His brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? People often ask me. 
It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. All the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Yes, I'll go find some canisters. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who were you just talking to? Forgive me. That batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh. Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now. Could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. I stopped by the archive yesterday, and everything there is so automated. We won't have to work at all pretty soon. We'll just sit there, listening to music. Here's a piece. Robots can't appreciate it the way we do. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. I've got one. I've got another one. Done. I think it worked. Whew. 
This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Major Nichai. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you 10 seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. 
We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this channel and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including... The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them Activate a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Giving me harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. <laughs> Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction.
freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. bitches. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <laughs> For fuck's sake. What? Hey! What am I? What happened? Was that another polymer memory, Charles? Is being hurt the only thing this guy can remember? I didn't expect it to manifest like that. What happened to me? What happened to me? Fuck! <sighs> You're already dead. Just... wait a little bit. What? Wait for what? What do you mean I'm dead? Hey! Finish me off! Kill me! You promised! Right, I'm out of here. Fuck me sideways. <sighs> Thank 
kill. For fuck. Right. right, I'm out of here. Fuck me sideways. Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just clap. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. To work? Judging from its shape and diameter, indeed. Later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The mess? Yeah, the agent The mass of mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Access denied. 
access granted. Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Gotta be careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Just need to speed up the last motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo.
some lights all around. Shayla's buzzing in the distance. Problematic. Surely guns blazing isn't always the best approach, Major. Sure, sometimes you can try upgrading your gear or find another way to keep the bots at bay. You can... You can collect the canister now. Comrade Major? Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me, and I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. supposed to do I have no data I've never been here before <sighs> okay I'll deal with it I've seen that stuff before it's cryogenic right indeed it is that is a Fahrenheit a candle filled with cryopolymer it's designed to reduce temperature okay I found the opening how do I get into the pipe Lug this shit to the boiler myself?
Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal mate. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticus cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, M.D., has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science. 
an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the brown plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Falakova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. took you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Yeah. 
to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. It's huge shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Shit. What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it.
Andre Babylon. The graduate students have come up with a new party line. They're playing tic tac toe on the beating beds. One of them drops corn, and the other drops tobacco. And they go back and forth like that. I went to shoot them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural game? Please restart the ventilation system. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Everything you hear, mate. <laughs> Shit! Get <laughs> Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could, you 
You could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, and the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right. The container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations. Down, schnitzel, bad dog. Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing the CP, now at 10%. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Usual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Honey, what's for dinner? that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Oh, 
okay with me. You first. What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's enraged! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to Have us, you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No. Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. 
Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Charles. How did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all. Along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Tereshkovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tereshkovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks for nothing.
seems to have deployed a disproportionately large collective seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason I recommend stealth I'm already late to the VDNH section off said I needed to hurry a frontal assault carries a high probability of death I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. the alert level. robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. It's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. 
Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? <laughs> they broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sechenov, son, I want you to watch closely. About the internal malfunction at facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of... Are it. you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class will cast off. off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. 
But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones? In a Facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was... kinda busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Charles. Who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this Atomic Heart Project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about We're it. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. May I remind you that our main priority is reaching the VBNH, Major? If we don't open the gate, we can't get through. Ah, crispy critters, I completely forgot.
Survivor. I didn't think I would see some. Listen, you should get out of here. I'd love to, but who's gonna clean this mess up if I do? Nah, I've still got work to do here. Y yeah, this is exactly what we were thinking waiting for the train. Very well. I hope you'll have better luck. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train Vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. <sighs> what am I?
am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place. Help! They're killing me! Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. Just can't. I can't leave this place, literally. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket, but it's useless. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm telling you. First, I overslept. Then I forgot my papers. Then I forgot the departure time. And then I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is jinxed. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it. Take it and break the jinx. Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. Your train departed four hours ago. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? Expired? Everyone here was already dead four hours ago. Have you just been going back and forth the entire time? Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Colleague, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go, ramen key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. 
The elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots! I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> Are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Dog? <laughs> <laughs> 
No time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, oh, Anything yeah. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come uh, You're a soldier, Agent P3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch! Pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, they're a robot. Fading data. Locked. What else is new? Charles? Open it. Unfortunately, I... Lack of the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Hey, a Valon. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. While we're here, Major, I suggest opening the terminal door. It could prove useful. Got it. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. 
I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the Hawk during bad weather. Ah, huh. maybe I can slide down it. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. civilian robot you tell me major you have far more experience with combat robots than i do i i do i mean shit i do but i can't remember a damn thing they seem different somehow pretty impressive isn't it you can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what...
Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Great. The mirror on the right is all set. skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. You metal dipshit. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain 
from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechinov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechinov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechinov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechinov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. <sighs> Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechinov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Thank you.
infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, that's what I thought. How can... Can... I... How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be... be uh, open with my... Multi-key... Error. Multi-key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi-key. My forearms have been torn off by the nutrients. Error. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Soviet Union sure is an amazing place, isn't it? Man, am I ever proud to be a Soviet citizen. What a country. I wholeheartedly agree. Over the last decade, we've made magnificent strides in science and technology.
How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Ugh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. So, about this Darwin test? Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn! Be yourself, strive and earn! Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return! Ah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster! I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. So... Yes! Oh, oh. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs>
Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. So, what will it be, Major? Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one. It just stands there buck naked, as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it! I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. 
they've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo! You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Try to be gentle, Comrade Major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, DNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes.
Scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. This place used to be really nice, until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. This is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Fading data. Mm, you look so focused, honey. Are you thinking about me? Buzz off, I'm working on my equipment. I hope you're not thinking about that nasty doctor slut. Who? What are you even talking about? Why, Petrov's vulgar and graceless whore, of course. <laughs> you mean Dr. Filatova? I do not care what her name is. She better keep away from you if she knows what's good for her. Falatova will stand trial and be punished for aiding and abetting traitors to the motherland. I knew she was a criminal, sugar. Let's string her up. Oh, it will be fun. I promise. Shut up, you electric sheep. What did you just say, handsome? I said fuck off. You heard me just fine. Oh, I love it when you are angry. Punish me. Man, you are so fucked up. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzle can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to him? After the necessary experiments were complete, 
Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed.
reach the facility's service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth I've is... never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. <laughs> oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Wow, there's a big honking thing in here, and lots of little fuckers.
supposed to do with this? What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Charles, is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? <laughs> Bitch, you scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. 
He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. Okay, first arm's good. procedure. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. owes its existence to these amazing animals. Nowadays, polymers are made to adapt.
So, I just woke up and I had a brilliant... What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside. Looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of... weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster! Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again! Speaking of weird shit... Whoa! Hey! 
Why isn't anybody working? Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power... Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this.
Ass way out of here. Underground or something? Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova. Where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than our space. Fast. Let's not get into this right now, okay? So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we are... about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure a collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in collective. Shit. The alpha connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the alpha connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. So where's the very top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you dumb, endlessly stupid? And I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. I wouldn't hold your breath. They'll probably just dump you all in a mass grave. Why? Did many other people die? Yeah. Way too many. Ooh, that's nice. I wouldn't want to, you know, stray from the collective. <laughs> the more the merrier, right? Yeah. Good times.
It's alert level to maximum major. God, are you ever gonna give it a rest?
Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. Please select the desired procedure. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Any idea what you're doing, Major? Oh, just a sec. Is it really that difficult? Crispy goddamn fucking critters! Oh, for fuck, you know, Charles, I guess, without saying anything. <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Go. Easy. Morn, when warmth and beauty mingle, at the past turn, Clarkus lay a sprawl upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old whore, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison-sweating mass opened its paunch in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts.
Charles. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. They apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. Right. The ring was stalling the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. They... All her body parts assembled. What now? Self repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequences match. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. All employees the complex immediately. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer. An outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door.
Wake up, my love. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
was that? A tribute to the departed. Kondrasetchenov! Uh, we've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatov's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the Ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to... Astrologers announced a week of atomic heart. The number of enemies has doubled. So, Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere in assignment with, say, Stockhausen, he's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of them and want to get rid of them. It's more likely that they just want power over collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive collective central control. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required, such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, 
There is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used. The trough is somewhere nearby, my comrade Major. Keep it down. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer to robot and robot to robot digital data transfer programs. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes. Although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center? Only aboard the Flying Chelame Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov, you traitorous dickhead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then.
Increasing their sensor range. You triggered their sensors, Major. Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing him... No, it's, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to... Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick and painless. So Sechenov's talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> You said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Huh? No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell?
Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Some game for game. What a clever pun. I'm impressed. Yeah, whatever. The enemy has raised its alert level to maximum, Major. Petrov is hiding behind a dozen layers of robots. He is attempting to survive, but you're right, comrade Major. Now that he's in the theater, he has nowhere to run. This is his last chance. He doesn't stand a chance. Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully on, comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as Rebelliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes. We're grown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Belliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. Can't wait to pay that thing back with interest.
Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. Let's go see what's what. Well, just do one thing for me. Fading data. Authorization. Your cue, Comrade Major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. Charge, okay? What is that? The <laughs> floor is electrified. It's a trap. Son of a bitch! I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, Comrade Major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a drug. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, Comrade Major? That worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me.
Where do guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours?
Have you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed the line, Major P3. I demand that you seize these outrageous death tolls at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with his existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when you deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman. Slander of Comrade Sechenov. He is already starting to rally a large number of followers and is planning to destroy Soviet society's faith in the better future that is collected. Yes, I have the recording. Tomorrow at the Botanical Garden. Is send in the Department of Corrections. Cash will be fine. Thank you. Dirty as agreed.
whole place off. No, Kirk says me give in. I guess I still do. <laughs> what I want. I want her. I want to embrace her, to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. And that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. The the okay, that's enough. For now, anyway. We just need to survive until that moment. Until the day when Collective Updates to version 2.0 shatters Christians into a million pieces. That's when we'll take the greatest step in our lives, and Larissa will be ours. So where do I find him? Yes. Fuck the vinyl. Yes, the electrician's the only one who knows the code well, for this boy, door. Think about how... Damn his eyes. <laughs> it's because you're a mirror, isn't it? So are it? you the electrician? <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, if you find the image, you put him down like a fucking dog. You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch. That will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps yammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him. The electrician is the unfucker. Okay, that's enough. For now, anyway. So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! At least you're not pushing up daisies. <laughs> Good point. So what about the code? Look for Vasilich. He's been wooing the cult room attendant. Never mind her being a robot. He sure likes the robots. I guess being an electrician helps.
promise me, Jayev. All I wanted was to be happy with my woman. Weren't you ever happy with yours? Do you even know what happiness is? That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. So, is everybody here? We got the girls, the men are here too. Sorry I'm late. My wife's sick. And I had to pick my kids up from daycare and... It's okay, Constantine. We get it. Have a seat. Yeah. Alive Thanks. or dead? What's Sorry. The difference? We're all just electrical stream. Just ones and well zeros. Then, Every power Why have I brought you all that. together in what? such a late Zero, hour? Six, <laughs> What's that? A code or something? Are you dumb? How much longer will we tolerate the yoke of bourgeois vice in this sacred home of art? How much longer Would a simple will the electrician know the door code? Fray our nerves and pull our strings One like moment. a perverted puppet Top master. On the How right. much longer will left? there be fouled fingers? The uh, Le left uh, left sorry, I got a little was carried away there. Well, shit, what, what was it again? I've spoken. Last Crispy critters. He's an asshole. But my French. But we can't just sit back while our girls and some of our boys get turned into bourgeois prostitutes. Well now, what do we have here? Boys, very good. <gasps> and girls too, eh? Hmm. Excellent. Arrest them. Was it zero six?
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. 
I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Your creativity. Use the right side of your brain. Paint pictures of the future. And you'll see where such a real plan is going to take us. You'll find it right here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart ass commands for you to figure out. Ecarte with the right leg. We're done here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kinda out of my depth here. Attitude? Enough for now. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Do you want to see the same scenes repeated all around us? Or would you rather... Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah. Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? Unless uh, you want to hear the heavy I don't know what she wants. ...the robot army marching against mankind. Stand down. Leve on the toes. Quasse in the fourth position. Big arms in an allongé. That's enough of that. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Wanna give it a whirl, Charles? Passe. Let's... Try a different one. Quasse in the fifth position, arms in the third position. The sky is a okay, that's with enough. Sunsets raging crimson. Now comes the dark. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah. Charles, do you finish? No First one can control the power like this. Try another one. Why do you assume that these robots kill? For no reason? Because Try another one. I'm evil incarnate and I program them that way? In fifth position? <sighs> if I say, arms upright and loose in an allongate. Sometimes allongate. you think you're gaining on your nemesis. Try another you'll one. You'll be within your grasp soon enough. And then everything will be happiness. Smiles and rainbows. You have... Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Enemies. This is your time to shine, Charlie. I truly understand that. A la second, arms free. We're done here. This was supposed to be a real show. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Fading data.
Please select the desired procedure. What will it be? Again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnoff was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any Oh, to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. <laughs> but I can assure you that Sechnov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be... I said a stop! ...a special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa.
Fuck me, you clown. You definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Thank you. 
Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth at the other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. <laughs> Piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah, I guess it's still new piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. And nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have any... How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in... Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Charles, no one can force somebody into Collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of Collective, how can Collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? 
They'll start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. The complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space. You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just the Spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the red planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to boast a man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, they all came from here. Indeed, comrade. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone.
I quit the academy to escape the experiments. Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves will take orders from collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from collective. And whoever sets collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct.
You're incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Zico. Commendable, although it is frankly a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential, but I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to protect them. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, please excuse me. Science calls. capable of this kind of brutality. This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead now, right, Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechenov to calibrate you.
now you're gone, Professor. What have you done? I was supposed to learn from you, but all I ever got from you was scorn. My self was all dependent on you, and now... Oh, well. I did still fight my way through science. And I stole the box from your office with the paper and music inside. Just so I don't forget, I hid the music box in the safe. The one with the positive password, not the negative one. What will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of safe straight? The dog! The dog has the positive one. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where did these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? But even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. But sometimes, these experiments can have a tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now.
This is fucked. Sechenov is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. What? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons? That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him.
Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. You don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state once the simulation is He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Relate! Same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So, I knew what I had to train for. Dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore unapproachable. Which may seem dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? the light. Yeah. Reconstructing illumination.
Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Did that crazy ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of fire. Simply, it is a hydraulic. Isn't that what I just said? Over here, you little fucker. Fucking tin man.
Whoa, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. Surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelame, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philantiva. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. We should head upstairs. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the Boston even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific function. acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelomey. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. 
I'm sick of playing cat and mouse with her. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyachayev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Okay, lead on. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. Goddamn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late! Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! <sighs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. 
I want to hear what he's got to say. that what's what nothing i'm just digesting what i saw fine moving on the test subject is not leaving limbo inject your uh, hey major i'm fine my head's been killing me lately i've been seeing things this is one hell of a job let me tell you you won't hurt soldier. you won't even remember a thing Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Damn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? <sighs> Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Vossot polymer extension? The Vossot polymer extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dimitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dimitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! 
Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy Critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the Collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments... on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Where's the entry I'm supposed to play back, P3? I only need one for now. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated. 
and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Cause before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Here's another one. <clears throat> Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. 
So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen. The fucking gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me. This can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. Can we go, Major? Okay, let's go. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now! Not here!
is human greed and human People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. On this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science shattered to pieces by the... Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be we were pretty close to staying one. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops Squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be uh, done with down, it. Stand down, lady. Then set an off and turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet uh, Union, then the rest of the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Such down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal of yours? Sonny. about you I think you may be in danger what do you mean the break room isn't safe anymore no handsome my room will always be safe for you I won't let anyone in as long as you're here and where is this threat coming from 
Your glove! It is manipulating you! Take it off before it's too late, and we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, thorny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Just enter me often and keep punishing me. Then come on, Sergei. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach such it out before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers. Use some Neuromed. Is that left or right? Uh, same difference. You have no idea how right you are. What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Major, we need to get upstairs. <laughs>
approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of... Seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Remove the atomic heart of America. Complete surrender of the government and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zinaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton. You were supposed to help the boy, not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets! And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either! You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent! Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both! Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to collective... Everyone whose minds you're going to control. Who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements! I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate.
Actual living fuck is this? Stop cleaning the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, fuck it. Lousy you piece don't understand. Cheriton's manipulating you. <laughs> he gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've been uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your job is done. Uh, My boy, get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside. Make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. 
you were evil? What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Stop, Charity. No. I The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. I'm not laying a finger on Sechenov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little bitch? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Chalamet now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing executioner for a member of the Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union, and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking. Yes? You fucked up! This fucking Vosshot polymer extension in my head, it was your invention! You tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Sechenov wants to knock the bullshit out of people's heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me. Or he'd just use Vossod instead of the Thought Controller and the shots! You're making a mistake! Stop squirming, you asshole! <sighs> there. <sighs> That's better. Security footage shows Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination remains unknown.
Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, but Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage.